The Lord be with you. We celebrate the feast of Pentecost tonight and we conclude the season of the resurrection, the Easter season. So now we pause a moment and we bless the holy water. We will bless all of you to remind the baptismal promises. Almighty and believing God, who will that through water, the fountain of life and the source of purification, even so should be cleansed and receive the gift of eternal life. We pray, be pleased to bless this water by which we seek protection on this your day, O Lord, Renew the living spring of your grace within us, and grant that by this water we may be defended from all ills of spirit and body, and so across you with heart make clean and worthily receive your salvation. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God cleanse us of our sins and through the celebration of this Eucharist, make us worthy to share at the table of His kingdom. Amen. Amen. Now together with all saints and angels, we sing the Gloria. Each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy 
Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews of every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because they heard each one of them speaking in his own language. They were astounded and in amazement they asked, are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We're Parthians, Medes, Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Suffer with him, 
so we may also be glorified with him. The word of the Lord. He showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Who sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. And remember last Sunday, last Saturday night we conclude with the ascension. Keep going again. We meet after me. The ascension. The ascension. The happy ending. The happy ending. Then our life will have right mm -hmm. when we are one with Christ. That's the ending. The punchline. And tonight, this is my punchline. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> to contemplate is to contemplate, contemplate is, is to go over one idea. To go over one idea. idea in conversation about it with God. In, in conversation, conversation about, about it with God. In the silence of our mind. In the silence of our mind. And why I say that? Because we celebrate the feast of the Pentecost. And every one of us we know the answer. If I ask you, what is about the Pentecost? Right? That is the descending of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles in the upper room after Jesus ascended into heaven. And in the upper room, the Blessed Mother Mary was there with them. So I'm focused on the Blessed Virgin Mary. She was there with them. And she was waiting together with them for the ascending of the Holy Spirit. And then, we can ask the question, so, what Mary was doing with them? So, many answers can come. She was there, of course, first of all, she prayed with them, the apostles, or she prayed over them. At the same time, the apostles have a chance the opportunity to sit there with Mary and asking Mary, can you tell me a little bit about the story of your birth? The story of the day that your mother Anna, or 
concretely the story that the angel Gabriel arrived into your house and announced the annunciation and then you gave birth to the Savior, our Lord, and now we are waiting, waiting, waiting for the Holy Spirit to come upon us because of this promise. You can go on and go on. You can go on and go on and ask, or maybe the first time ever that they're asking Mary, tell us about how suffering you are when you see your son crucified on the cross. How fear you are all the strong faith that you have in God from the first day of you say fiat. But whatever happening in there, one thing we know for sure, and according to the Gospel of Luke, and Luke said this, everything happened to her. She always kept all things in her heart and contemplating them over and over and over. So that is my point tonight. To contemplate. To contemplate is the virtue. To go over one idea in conversation about it with God in the silence of the mind. And Mary always done that. Then, this virtue or any other virtues all the virtues take root and grow in the quiet center of our soul. Just as seeds take root and grow in the unseen darkness of the soil. So that's it, the virtue. Quiet, gentle, unseen, powerful, transforming, everlasting, that all, that's the work of the Holy Spirit. The work of the Holy Spirit. So therefore, tonight, when we celebrate this feast, once again, one concrete thing that you can do, you pray to the Holy Spirit. We conclude the Easter season, the season of the resurrection, but we go on in the ordinary time then we should pray, pray to the Holy Spirit for one thing. Spouses, misunderstanding, pray to the Holy Spirit to give you the wisdom to know so that you can use the nice word, you can talk to each other, to reconcile to each other. Or children, you accept your parents and you don't have a courage to say sorry. You pray to the Holy Spirit, asking the Holy Spirit to give you the courage, motivate you to say the word of sorry. Or working in the environment, the same thing. The co-worker is appointed for one task. And pray to the Holy Spirit for the guidance to reconcile or collaborate at the teamwork. Many things that we can pray to the Holy Spirit each day, one minute or two minutes. But tonight, I would like to share with you about the wonderful quotation of Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta. God is the friend of silence. See how nature, trees, flowers, grass grows in silence. See the stars, the moon, and the sun, how they move in silence. We need silence to be able to touch the souls of human beings. Silence. So therefore tonight, yes, let us go home, choose one idea, and then you continue to go over that one idea in the conversation about it with God in the silence of your mind. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now together we repeat again.
Are you ready? Yes. To contemplate is to contemplate is to go over one idea to go over one idea in conversation about it with God in conversation about it with God in the silence of our mind in the silence of our mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.